So this is second video of a lathe gear being uh, produced, I suppose you could say. So the modification of, or the, the difference I've made from the last one is using the uh, drill head to hold the piece. Gears look a lot sharper than version one. Which doesn't look the best, to say the least. As you can see, the teeth were a little bit out of shape. And version 2, if you can see it, does seem to have a good set of teeth. And as you can see, they all fit. So, how I've got to this is I've picked a cutting piece with a head on it, like that, to fit inside the gears, to cut them, or to broach them, whatever it is you want to say, fashion, produce them. So, what we're going to do is just put that so that the cutting piece is just resting on the piece and just simply go backwards and forwards. And as you can see, it has been shaving off. Particles of metal as you can see here So if it's taking off metal, it's obviously working So the reason why I say put your cutting piece Onto your gear Just nip it up until that gets a little bit tight hold it and then Nice and gently forward and then backwards and forward until it stops cutting. You can make about four or five passes and still have material coming off. As you can see, by the big shavings, let me just clear them out. Let's go for another turn. On the... There we go. The reason why I'm saying to it on there so that doesn't happen and your butt bit bind up so if that happens you have your little lock here lock that down and every lathe has a nut on the back so now what we can do is we can actually get a little bit more turning pressure and force the piece through and material being aluminium it's not very hard there we go we can do that by now by hand as you can see and that should there we go I'll just do that again. A bit difficult holding this and working at the same time with one end. And this sprocket is actually for in there. If you can see it, yeah, there you go. To me, looks suspiciously like a sprocket. 